so according to the definition gag reflex is an involuntary contraction of the muscles of the soft palate or pharynx that results in retching normal defense mechanism which prevents foreign bodies from entering the trachea larynx or pharynx this gag reflex is usually accompanied by excessive salivation lacrimation sweating and panic attack followed by fainting so we will understand this definition first it is an involuntary that means it is not in the control of patient contraction of the muscles of the soft palate and pharynx so it is a simultaneous contraction of the muscles of the soft palate as well as muscles of the pharynx okay and that is involuntary without permission and without desire of the patient normal defense mechanism it is a normal defense mechanism which prevent foreign bodies from entering into the trachea larynx or pharynx this is very important because these are the symptoms with which we will actually identify the starting of a gag reflex if we see the patient is having heavy salivation lacrimation lacrimation is you know tearing Sweating and panic attack followed by fainting. अगर ये सारे आपको दिखाई देते हैं, these are the symptoms which are generally accompanied by gag reflex. This is the anatomy and pathophysiology of the gag reflex. How it actually starts and where it is actually processed. Reflex arc for the gag reflex. So the nerve endings of the <coughs> these nerve endings that detects the intrusion, then the sense goes to the nerve. into the where where yes it is the brain stem brain stem is made up of mid brain mid brain pons and medulla wahan par ye ja ke basically it is a part of spinal cord there this signal which is received to the sensory nerves this sensory nerves this signal is actually processed here and then motor sensation goes through the motor neuron endings and go through the motor nerves to the muscles so the muscles act according to the processed signal received through motor nerves so this is how is actually work this arc is called pathophysiology of gag reflex arc etiology of the gagging gagging hote kyun hai ulti jaisi feeling aati kyun hai so there are several factors those are divided into the various subheadings first is anatomical factors according to right posterior point of the soft palate angle of the soft palate so these are the actually different different anatomical location where the point of stimulus of the gag reflex are present okay ye aapko yaad rakhne these are the various points of the oral cavity where gag reflex trigger points are available in jitne bhi ye area hai suppose that angle of the soft palate hai theek hai posterior point of the soft palate hai kisi ko bhi agar aap touch karte ho aggravate karte ho okay So this actually this will immediately trigger the starting of a gag reflex gagging immediately the patient will have gagging ab bhi try kar sakte ho you open your mouth wide and try to touch the posterior part of the palate even with your finger only then definitely you will be having a sense of gagging okay aapko ekdam sulti aane lagti hai so these are the anatomical location those are actually very prone to gagging kya kya hai wo posterior point of the soft palate angle of the soft palate posterior point of the tongue palato pharyngeal airways lingo pharyngeal airways interior point position of the hyoid and nasio pharyngeal isthmus these you need to remember so second category of the etiology of the gag reflex is systemic factor those are related to the body nasal obstruction okay sinusitis post nasal drip congestion heavy smoking gastric disorders such as peptic ulceration and diaphragmatic hernia pancreatic carcinoma and a glossopharyngeal neoplasm 